19th, 7.26 p.m. right now, and I am going to submit my FIT application. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Um, so if you don't know me, like, on a personal level, like, if you don't go to school with me or you're, you're not, like, someone that I know, like, in person, then you don't know that. Or even if you know me, you might not know this, that my dream college to go to is FIT. I want to major in fashion design. And I also want to learn about fashion business, the business of fashion. Um, so I'm applying to FIT. It's my number one school. If I get in there, I'm going to commit literally the same day because I love the campus. I've taken classes there, pre-college classes, and I love the environment there. I just love the professors, and I love the, you know, it's just a, a great place to be it's on 7th avenue fashion avenue everything about it i love it so it's literally the perfect school for me it has exactly what i want in a college and there's literally not a more perfect school uh that i would like apply to it's my dream college to get into and i worked really hard to develop this portfolio lots of long hours i've spent on this um, lots of days, lots of time. I've taken so many classes. I've got to so many reviews. I've run to um, three portfolio reviews just for FIT, and I've been sewing for this is my third year, and I've just worked really hard to get to where I am right now. And so submitting this portfolio is really nerve wracking for me because. This is my dream school and I've done everything I know how to do to the best of my ability and I've put as much time and effort as I possibly could have into this portfolio and making sure it's perfect. I've gotten three different people to review it. I've asked my fashion teacher in school because she went to FIT and she applied so she knows what the process is like and what they're looking for. But I'm just nervous because so many amazing kids apply to the same college and like sometimes they don't even get in so I feel like maybe I don't have a chance of getting in because like you know I'm not a professional at this obviously I mean the reason I'm going to college is to get better at this and you know become a professional but the talent and like creativity that other applicants have is insane and when I go to portfolio reviews and I see like other people's work it's like crazy because they're so good and I'm nervous that I won't get in and you know, if I don't get in, I obviously have a backup plan, but I just want to get in so bad because I've worked so hard and I've just put in so much time and effort and not getting in would, like, like, literally break my heart. Um, so, it is December 19th and I'm submitting my portfolio today. I've already submitted the essay and, like, the application where all your like basic information is but for this portfolio you have to actually write an additional essay which I did I wrote about like um uh, a disagreement or like when someone it, the question is basically like write about like when um your coach or teacher like you disagreed with their evaluation of you so I wrote about something um oh, with that answer the question obviously um uh, but I want to show you guys my portfolio not really the essay um even though the essay is important I think that portfolio the portfolio is like really really important because you know you're going into an art school so your portfolio has to be really amazing and everyone has their opinions so you might hate my portfolio but I'm not really doing this to you know ask for your guys's um you know like view on mine which I would like if you guys have critiques or whatever I mean like I don't really mind it but the main purpose of this is like for the if anyone else is also applying to FIT and you kind of want to see what I did I think that this could be helpful to you but also I just want to document this and like my emotions and like what I was going through in my head so that like when I, I find out if I got in or not like I can have this video to look back at that's why I'm posting it um it's like a memory essentially it's like a video diary so um I've been talking for like five minutes, but I'm going to put all this in because I don't want to have this video edited. I just want it to be like what I was truly feeling in the moment. So this you guys can be seeing now and my reaction is also going to be in this video. So that's probably going to be the next clip, which for me is going to be like in April, but for you guys it's going to be literally a couple of seconds, which is crazy. But I want to show you guys my portfolio because I work really hard on it and 
Um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, the portfolio people who like review your stuff, they they liked it a lot. My fashion teacher liked it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm very proud of what I did. And obviously, again, I'm not a professional, so I'm gonna go to school to learn how to do this better. Um, but I just want to show you what I'm submitting. I'm really nervous. Not to show you guys, just to submit it, just like both, because I've never shown my work to the public because I've always been so afraid that someone's gonna take it or steal it. But I think this video should, is gonna be like a good time for me to share what I've been working on for like since um, July, basically. So almost five months, which is crazy. Well, actually, before I like show you guys my portfolio, I kind of want to explain, like, for those of you who are not applying to FIT and are not watching this video for the purposes of, like, I want to apply to FIT, like, what should I do? Um, for those of you just watching this video just to see what this video is, um, for FIT, there's, like, three projects that you have to do to apply. Um, this is only for fashion design. I don't know about the other majors because you apply majors, like, into your major. You don't have, like, an undecided or anything like that. You have to know what you want to do. So for fashion design specifically, there's three projects. The first project is a mix and match where you have one shirt that you use twice so you have to create two designs and a mood page so you use one shirt in both designs and then you can in one design you could put the shirt with the pants or a skirt um and then the other design you could do the other one uh whichever one you didn't do and with either of those outfits you could put a jacket and then the second project you have to submit four to eight of your original designs um it could be any theme um like essentially anything so whatever you guys want to do um, and then you just have to write like two sentences for each design then the third project is a sewing project so you can submit one to three i believe garments that you've sewn i um so you can you have to do like a front view a back view and then a detail so that would be like three to nine images so this is the first project this is the mixing match this is my mood page I did Roman military, so I put the season, the place that you could wear these to, and then a little description because that's what they asked for. So this is the first design that I created, so I have the fabric swatches in the middle and the fabric that they are, and the flats on the side. Same format, but this is the second design. my second project this was my mood page you don't need this but I included it my first design that I did second and then I have my two sentences at the bottom here and I have my flats fabric swatches and the fabric names and the design I did eight. You could do four to eight, though. You don't have to do eight, but I just did eight. This was my sewing project. So this is the jacket that I made. The front. The back. And since it was lined, I took a picture of the sleeve seam. Or the armhole sleeve. Oh my god. Armhole seam, and I wrote a little description about that. Then I made a shirt, so this is the front back and the detail I did the closing the, how the shirt closes in the back with the button I wrote about that here then I made a pleated skirt you can't really see the details in the camera because it's on a computer but it is a pleated skirt so this is the front view the back view and this is the indivisible zipper detail that I did and that was my full portfolio so I have a total of 21 images in here, and this is on Slide Room. Okay, you guys. So um, I know today's December 20th. Wait, is it December 20th? Yeah, it's December 20th. So you just saw me yesterday. Um, uh, I'm filming a Tony's of Kenesha video right now. And I was looking back. I was trying to delete the clips that I recorded. Then I deleted the clips that I filmed yesterday. Well, not all of them, because I thought they were for another video that I filmed that I already uploaded. So. Basically, in those two clips, what happened was I was submitting it and I was talking about how nervous I am. And I was talking about how I need my mom to come and help me submit it. And then we submitted it and then I said, to see you in April because I don't know when the results come out. But anyways, that's my little 
Oh, right. I hate that I, I can't believe I deleted those clips. Anyways, I have to go back to filming what I was filming originally. So I will see you guys in April. Hey guys, so it is... Phone's not working. It's February 6th and I just wanted to film like kind of like an update for this FIT video. I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, it is almost 11 p.m. right now, but um, I just kind of wanted to like give you guys an update about like what I'm going through right now um, in relation to the FIT application, or not the FIT application, but just like the whole waiting thing, because the last clip you saw was me actually submitting the application and me being done submitting the application. Um, and then just being like, I hate waiting, like I'm just gonna have to wait till April 1st. Um, so it, it's probably been a month and a half since I submitted my FIT application, which is so crazy. Um, I also applied to the FIT uh, Presidential Scholar Honors Program, and that deadline was February 1st, but the, I did that in like early January. But, um... So that's all done, and now I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, so if it's the beginning of February, we have like two more months till the decision comes out. And I was just like, I keep going through this in my head, and it's like, my dad and my mom are always just like, you know what, don't think of that scenario until it actually happens. So the thing with me is that my number one school is FIT. And of course I've applied to other schools and I did get into those schools. I haven't heard back from all of them, but from the ones that I have heard back from, I did get in. So I do have schools that I can go to, even if I don't get into FIT. The thing is, I don't know where to go if I don't get into FIT. And that the decision that I'm trying to have myself make, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm been accepted or not because the decision hasn't come out yet so like going in my head and like being in my head but i like freaking myself out and being like if i don't get into fit like i have no clue where i'm gonna go because i have options and they're good options but then you have to think about the money and the cost and the distance and it's just a lot um to process at like one time like of course i got into those schools and i'm very happy and grateful that i did but if I don't get into FIT, I like, I literally have no clue where I'm gonna go, and I feel so stupid because like, I got into like so many good schools that I just like don't know where I'm gonna go if I don't get into FIT. But also like I haven't heard back from FIT, so I can't even make that decision until I hear back from FIT. Because if I get into FIT, I'm not even joking. I will commit the same day. That is a fact. <laughs> um, but like, that whole decision of like where am I gonna go if I don't get into FIT is like freaking me out and then just waiting is just like killing me slowly <laughs> it's just like I hate waiting I hate not knowing I hate being like in the unknown it's just not fun <laughs> like I just want to know if I got in or not and every time someone's like oh like every time someone talks to me or not every time but usually when someone a lot of people have asked me, oh, did you hear back from FIT? I'm like, no, I'm still waiting. It comes out April 1st. And then I just get in my head about it. And I'm just like, oh, I'm... I go through these phases where I'm like, and I'm trying to like articulate this the best way possible. Because if someone else is going through the same thing while you're applying for or while you're waiting for college decisions to come back from like your number one school, or if you're not going through the same thing and you just are listening to this video, I just want to see my reaction. Just skip to this timestamp. It'll be in the description, whatever. But um, in this time period, I just go through phases where I'm like, I think about my portfolio and I think about my sewing projects and I think about everything I sew and it's FIT. And I'm like, it's got, it's not to be like, this is like a phase that my brain goes through it's like oh my god my stuff was so amazing like it was so good like i'm definitely gonna get in like if i don't get in i'd be surprised like i took so many pre-college classes and i've worked so hard been doing this for so many years like there's my sewing is so good and like all this kind of stuff and i'm like i might have a chance of getting in because my sewing is good like my sketches are not perfection but they're pretty good um 
and so in my head I'm like okay I might have like a chance of getting in like what if I actually got in like that would be insane and then I go through this down phase where I'm like there's no way I got in because everyone else is so much more but so much more amazing everyone is so much better than I am they have so much more talent they've had more experience they've been sketching for so long and they're faces are amazing, their rendering is amazing, their designs are so creative and unique, and I've never seen anything like that. Um, and then I start comparing myself to other people who I've seen at portfolio reviews or in my pre-college classes, and I'm like, those people are definitely getting in, there's no way I'm not getting in. There's no way I'm getting in, because those people are so much better, and if, like, if people that are that good get in, then there's gonna be no space left for me. And so I'm like, they're gonna accept the amazing people first because obviously the college wants the best of the best, right? Why would they accept someone who has bad sketches or bad sewing or whatever? Or who's not as good as everyone else? And I feel like I'm in that like not as good as everyone else so I get in my head and I compare myself and it's just not good. This clip is like six minutes long but at this point I don't care. I just want to express how I'm feeling during this phase where I'm just like waiting. And I just want April to come and in March I have no days off from school and it's going to be the longest month of my life and I hope it goes by fast just so April 1st can come I can find out what if I, just, what, if they, if I got in or not and the one thing that's driving me crazy is that the fact that they're not letting me know in an email or in like a little video or whatever they're sending me an actual letter so I have to wait in the mail for this thing to come and I I don't I don't want to know because I'm scared of being rejected, but I want to know because I'm like, what if I did get accepted? And if I did get rejected, at least I know, at least I'm not just going to be waiting. Like there's a relief that I submitted the application and it's all done and now it's just like, I hate waiting and it's like bothering me so much that I don't know what's going on, but at the same time I'm kind of like, do I want to know what's going on? So if you can relate. um. Yeah, if you can relate, period, <laughs> then you understand what I'm feeling. Like, you know how, like, it's just not fun to be waiting. Um, so yeah, those are like my two things that have been like going, that have been, my head's been, like my brain's been going through um, for the last month and a half or like whatever. And the next two months, that's what my brain's going to be going through. Like, where am I going to go if I don't get into FIT and then just going back and my forth kept going back and forth in my head about like was I might have a chance I might just be rejected right away because they hate my stuff. Um but at the same time when I when I when I think about like oh I might have a chance of getting in it's because I've gone to the portfolio reviews and every time I went they're like oh I love your stuff it's so good it's so like fun and I and I love your sketches they're so good have you taken classes yes they're like I can see that your rendering is so amazing and all that stuff. And I have gotten negative feedback also, you know, to improve my stuff. And I have worked on that to improve my stuff. But I, they've never been like, oh yeah, your stuff is terrible. But also, are they going to outright tell you that your stuff is terrible? Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, like when I think of my portfolio previews and how I didn't get tons of negative feedback but how like how much they did like it I think okay maybe I don't have a chance of getting in maybe they will like my stuff and I will get accepted and if I do I'm gonna start crying I'm not even kidding um sorry I just like was like picturing the scenario of like reading the letter and like sitting on my desk and opening it and reading it and then I don't know what it's gonna say um, anyways, that was my little rant for nine minutes. I'm gonna hate myself when editing this video for you guys, but I don't know, it's literally crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I know that I did work my ass off. I put in 110%. I pushed myself harder than I've ever pushed myself. Um, and I want this more than anything. 
in the entire world. I've I've never wanted something more than this. Like I've wanted things and I've wished that things came true and I wish that I had certain opportunities, but I've never wanted anything in my life as much as I want this. And I've worked so that I could have a chance at having this opportunity and I just um, it's crazy. Anyways, mm -hmm. I'll see you maybe in March, maybe in April, maybe in March I'll do an update. I don't know, but I'll definitely see you in April. I hope I'm in focus, but I was just on my phone and this <laughs> may seem very silly to you guys. But for me, it's like a continuous like reminder that I have no idea what's going on in my life. And it's just so frustrating because I just want to freaking know. Um, so it's February 11th. I don't know when I filmed the last clip. I really honestly have no idea. But I'm sitting here. I'm not doing anything. I'm supposed to be working on something, but I'm just procrastinating. But I was on my phone and I went on Instagram. Bad idea. But I was like watching people's stories and someone was like, congratulating another person to, for getting into like some college, I don't really pay attention, but congratulations to that person, whatever. But then it just reminded me <laughs> that I don't know where I'm going and I am not committed anywhere and I just want to know if I got in to FIT, if I didn't get into FIT, and I just, oh, people are always talking about college and I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, don't talk about college around me because I don't know where I'm going yet. That's so stupid. But it is a constant reminder that I have no idea where I'm going and it's just every single day is just making me crazier and crazier um, because I just want to know. It's been like two full months and I still have two full months to go and I can't wait two full more months like March is just going to be so freaking long and I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of, of an update because I feel like this oh, this whole video, I'm not gonna, I literally, after I filmed the last clip, I don't remember what day it was, but I remember saying to myself after that, I was like, that was 10 minutes long, should I just cut it down? And then I was also like thinking like, no, this whole video, I want to document every second every moment like every feeling that i have throughout this whole process so that like five years from now i can look back at it and be like that's what i was going through and that's what i was feeling and whether i get in or not i just want to be able to talk about this whole process just to know what i was feeling at different times at different time stamps um and just what i was going through mentally and just for anyone else who's going through the same thing of just waiting it is frustrating and i'm with you and i get it and I wish we didn't have to wait, but that's not how life works, and, um, it sucks, but time flies when you're having fun, so just have fun, and hopefully it'll come sooner. I don't know, that was, like, the worst advice ever. Anyways, but I just wanted to give a little update of what I was, whatever. Anyways, bye. I don't know what I'm going to see you next. I always say that, hopefully. I won't have to see you till April 1st just because if I will have to see you before that, it means that like I'm feeling like either like pressure, anxiety, stress, some, one of those things um, or just like frustration. Um, so hopefully I don't feel any of that and then I just have nerves um, going on. But anyways, okay, bye. Okay, it is March 21st, um, okay, um, it's 9.30 right now, I don't even know what to say, I, okay, I want to talk about this because it's actually like something that I can't stop thinking about, so obviously this is my dream college acceptance like re or whatever rejection or I don't oh my god what am I saying reaction video right um and 
April 1st is in 11 days. Um, I'm freaking out because, number one, I can't get into, like, my portal. Um, and also this whole coronavirus thing, sorry, I don't know if I can say that, this whole C virus thing that's going on is freaking me out because I'm like, is the post office open? Apparently where I live, it's still open, so the thing with FIT is that they don't, like, email you or it's not a portal, they, like, send you a letter. So, I don't know if I'm still going to get the letter, but I was on, like, this thing, people make these pages about, like, fall 2020, whatever, acceptance, or applicants, and a lot of people are saying, oh, they're going to email you now because of the virus and everything that's going on. And so many places are closed, so you can't get access to, like, a physical letter. And also, FIT itself is, like, doing online school now. No one's actually at the campus. So they can't actually, like, mail out letters. Um, so I'm just got emails now, but I can't access my portal. And apparently there's this financial aid thing, which I was supposed to do. Well, it it, it's just to see how much you got in financial aid, but it's confusing and I can't log in so I emailed them and hopefully they'll get back to me on Monday. But they're getting a lot of emails obviously with everything that's going on, so I don't know when I'm going to get access to that. I, I don't know what the situation is with that whole thing. So that is number one giving me like a lot of anxiety and stress. Number two is this whole thing that it's supposed to come out April 1st, that's when you're supposed to get it by, and apparently the first wave of applicants got their uh, decisions on March 17th, that's when the first wave happened and I didn't receive an email or a letter or anything, so I don't, I'm freaking out because I just want to know, <laughs> and then also, I've been having these dreams, now, usually my, I, I don't get nightmares ever, like, I only remember one other time that I've had like a really bad nightmare um but last night I could not sleep like it I could I was I didn't check the time but I didn't fall asleep till probably 2 a.m. because I was freaking out because last night was when I was like found a whole thing about my portal and I can't get in anymore and I'm trying to reset my password and it's not working so I emailed them last night and then I couldn't and I went to bed at like 1130 like I actually got into bed and like put my head on my pillow and was trying to go to sleep in it and I didn't sleep for like two hours like till 2 a.m. because I was just freaking out and I couldn't stop thinking about it and it there's no point in me getting in my head about it because I can't do anything I have no power anymore but I was freaking out and then I had this horrible nightmare so I I um finally fell asleep at one point and then I had this horrible nightmare that I got rejected and like it was a little piece of paper that said we're sorry to inform you that we can't offer you a position at Fashion Institute of Technology and it was literally the scariest thing ever and it felt so real and I felt like I couldn't escape it and I was so scared in the, in the dream and it was just so weird. I finally got out of it and I finally woke up and I drank some water and I, and I turned off my night light and then it was completely dark and I finally was able to fall asleep. But Two days ago, I had a dream that I got a letter that said I got accepted. So it's it's something that's constantly on my mind, and I'm constantly like freaking out about it. And I'm trying to keep. And obviously, right now we're self isolated, so I don't have school. I don't have many distractions. I don't have my job. I don't have volunteering. I don't have school. So I'm trying to keep myself as busy as possible, so I don't think about it as much as I am currently thinking about it. Like I'm trying to distract myself with different activities because if I don't have anything to do and I'm sitting by myself then I'll just keep thinking about it and it's just giving I'm being I'm so anxious about it and I just want to know I'm scared I'm so scared of not getting in because I don't want to let myself down that's my biggest thing because if I know it if I don't get in like I can say right now it's not gonna be the end of the world but it's obviously harder to say than like actually deal with it and I'll obviously be devastated because it's my dream school and I want nothing more than to go there like I've wanted this more than I've wanted anything else in my entire life and so I'm so scared of not getting in because I know I'll let myself down I'll be disappointed in myself even though in my mind I know I did the best that I could and I submitted my best work but it's just it's terrifying me and I just want to know and I just feel like I have no power under control and I like to be in control of things and the fact that I don't have any control over this whole situation is just freaking me out and I 
and it's so close to April 1st and I don't know what, if they're going to send a second wave and I don't know what I'm going to find out and it's... I got rejected from two fashion schools already and I haven't said this before but I did get rejected from Parsons and I got rejected from RISD so I'm already doubting my portfolio um, like a hundred times more than I was before and I'm thinking about... Like, if I couldn't get into those schools, not saying that my portfolio was amazing, but, you know, like, I, and I didn't expect to get into those two schools. I mean, I, I tried my best, and but RISD and Parsons are really hard to get into. So, you know, it's not like my dreams are crushed, because those weren't my number one schools, but my dreams will be crushed if I don't get into FIT. I don't know. I'm just freaking out, and I really needed to to talk to you guys and just let you know and I feel like this is like a therapy session where I can just like let all my feelings out to like an ina inanimate object but there are people watching obviously but it's just I needed to talk about this like nightmare that I had and then the other dream that I had because I don't know if anyone else is going through this but I'm so anxious and I'm so scared and I'm so nervous all the time now and it just started a couple of days ago when I realized like oh shit April 1st is really close and I'm trying to like figure out now that I know you're gonna get a, I'm gonna get an email instead of a letter but I don't know for sure because it was just off like this page I, they don't have anything on the FIT website so I can't like find out any like solid information but people said that they're getting emails so I don't know I'm just freaking out and I, and I just want to know like at least if I know then you know, I can't change anything at that point. And I can't change anything now. It's not any different. It's just not knowing is scary. But I just wanted to tell you guys that because I'm flipping out and freaking out. And I'm so nervous and so scared and anxious. And I've said that a million times, but I cannot express to you how much. Like, my stomach hurts. <laughs> like, at night when I have to go to sleep, like, I'm still thinking about this. And literally last night when I before like I finally was able to fall asleep my stomach was hurting because I was thinking about this so much and it was making me so nervous that my stomach started hurting and that never happens to me because I try my best not to get nervous and anxious because I know all the facts it's just hard for my mind to not go to that place and constantly think about it because that's like the only thing I can think about obviously I mean it makes sense anyways <laughs> I hope your guys day going great um and I hope I find out soon for the next couple within the next couple days i just really want to know what's gonna happen